I have a murder mystery question for you. Is it possible for Ryan Johnson to slaughter something more than the Star Wars franchise? I suspect foul play. Well, let's find out together as we review Knives Out. I now have to start all of these conversations with a little bit of a, a, a warning. This is not an in-depth review. It's just our reactions, our thoughts, our impressions of the film. We just got out of the theater. We're going to let you know what we thought. So don't, don't come in here. Don't come into my channel. Don't come into my house and expect some sort of an in-depth synopsis or, or breakdown. You, know, you can find that somewhere else on YouTube. Sorry for being so upset with you. I'm not. I'd also like to kind of format this more. I feel like we're all kind of Willy Wonka mm -hmm. all over the place with mm -hmm. things. So let's start with the cast. For the most part, they didn't really use the cast like they should have. You know, that was definitely one of my gripes with it. I mean, there's a couple key characters that they definitely did. I'm yeah. not trying to spoil it, but... Do you yeah. know the name of the young woman that the, the movie revolves it's around? Like Anna D something. Yeah, she kind of looks like a, a, a new Kelly Kapowski. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's maybe a too dated for you, but uh, she, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, I guess I got a little bit of that from her. She's a beautiful woman. Um, unfortunately, she's not the most exciting uh, actress to, to watch in this film. She's very kind of straight-laced. Is she the one in Alita? Is that what she's from? Dang, look at that. We may be racist, but I think she's from Alita. A lot of them, I think, were just to really draw in tickets. You think so? I think it's a stunt casting sort Absolutely. of a thing? I'd say so. Well, it's... it it, Yeah. Well, I can't really see the actors and actresses really, oh, I need to be in this movie. Right. You know, there's there's nothing really drawing them to it, like, you know... Yeah, the the um, performance by like Chris Evans or whatever that you see in the trailer where he's very funny, he's telling everybody to go mm -hmm. F themselves. He he only really is that character for five minutes. Yeah. And then he's in it longer than that, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say much more than maybe 15. You know, we have Bond in this, mm -hmm. James Bond. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. He's, he's having fun, clearly. He, he's all in. Yeah, he, 100%. I like Daniel Craig. I think he's a good actor. Maybe, he's underrated, yeah, he's, honestly. He, I agree. Yeah. He is underrated. He, he's done some really good, more quainter roles mm -hmm. in movies that I can't think of the names of. But there was yeah, a war know. one, I remember. Well, we don't get. We don't need to get into it. But there's a war movie with him, <laughs> and you should definitely see it. <laughs> just just type in a war movie. He's got this southern draw in the film, yeah. which I don't... It's, it's not needed, <laughs> necessarily. I don't know if it works. Which, if you figure... In the movie early on, they say that his father was like... Uh, was... Har what is it, Harlan? Is that his name? Phil what What's their I don't name? really pay attention Whatever to movies is, that much, so yeah, go on. Whatever it is, like, he says that his father was, like, the medical person or whatever for him, so how does he have a southern draw, then? I don't know. It doesn't I, make sense to me, but I think Well, that, it might have been a, you know, there's, there's little red herrings fun. here and there. There's a lot of stuff to kind of put you off the scent, but is there any more actors we want to talk about before we kind of graze over the story without giving anything away? Mm. Uh, you know, you have the woman from Hereditary in that. and uh, Tony Collette. Tony Collette, thank you for looking that name up, go. because I, I've, I've really liked her ever since United States of Terra, and I've never known her name, because, you know, I do I do movie review shows on the side, so why would I need to know actor names? Yeah, no, she's I, she's fun. She's, yeah. you know, playing kind of a... Was she supposed to be the influencer Yeah, chick? yeah, so I, I think that she solely based her role off of Kim Kardashian. She 100%. definitely had that... Get hate the comments. Don't yeah, care. that kind of Cali vibe to her. That yeah. Valley girl speak yeah, a little like, bit. Yeah, there's a couple characters that seem to be in there just to have this kind of political commentary that was yeah, just a little bit out of place. Yeah, you know, I, I I I get what Ryan Johnson was was going with with you know the whole dinner table family arguments, which typically lead to that sort of discussion. Mm -hmm. But it did feel kind of just thrown in just so he could say a couple things and yeah. I don't know it was, it was unnecessary especially Some, when it's just yeah. everywhere nowadays right you know it's a whodunit it's a classic whodunit but it's also this um dysfunctional family thing there was a movie and I didn't look it up and I don't know movies or actor names because I do a, a movie review show um but Michael J. Fox was in it and it was kind of a clue type movie and I was trying to explain it to Is you it earlier the Westing game? Or that's not even close to what it's okay. called but Anyway, three Fine. people will know what it is. Tell me in the comments what the name of the movie is with Michael J. Fox. He bowls in the movie, and he, he gets injured early, or he misses the strike, and he loses money, and then he, he, he's in with his family arguing. It's that's that's all you have to go on. <laughs> it is not Kingpin. 
<laughs> and Michael J. Fox is not in that movie. The fun thing about these types of movies is trying to play the part of the detective and work the story out with you. I'm sure I annoyed Chase a few times whispering over my ideas. Unfortunately, I, I have the tendency to to call things early, and this was one of those times where, it, what was it, 30 minutes in, I said, I bet this is what it is. Yeah. I didn't call the murderer, but no. kind of at the same time. So then you're just kind of watching and waiting you for you to, unfolds, yeah, you're, you're yeah. waiting for yourself to be proven right or wrong. Um, yeah. You did call something too, though. You know, there, there's little things here and there that, that are fun. They're fun little Easter eggs that they come back to, thankfully. And uh, it, it, it does resolve all the questions at the end, which is nice. Kind of enjoy the little things. It's the little wins. Yes. I don't think we have to go much further into story other than to say that once more, very front heavy. I thought it's front it heavy ran and heavy. long. Yeah, I mean I, uh, in the mid. So I don't even know. Like that sounds like my perfect, perfect woman. <laughs> <laughs> the the middle part of the story. I don't know. If, to me, it felt like it was about ten minutes long. If that makes sense. No, I, I, it doesn't make any sense. I felt like no, I, that I know part what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. The the, the know, middle act is yeah, just there and gone. That, yeah, I, I felt like that was short. It was there, and then like you said, it was gone. And then the last, it feels like it's about an hour. Yeah. You know. It, it, it's, it does drag a lot at the end. Just like The Last Jedi, it's beautiful to look at. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah, like you said, it's beautiful to look at. There's some great shots, I thought. A like, lot of creative shots at in the, this. At the very end, that kind of slow motion shot. Mm -hmm. You know, that, well, that was really cool, yeah, There's There's fun zoom-ins. There's mm -hmm. fun little you know play it, it's not taking itself no. too seriously no. it's a it, it knows it knows yeah. it's it knows what it is and what it's going to do yes it it, it, it uh, definitely um has a theme to it i like that the typography all plays into it as well mm -hmm. and i like when things just kind of come together yeah. i still get bothered by john wick when they will just randomly put the words on the screen mm -hmm. and that really kind of yeah and that weird font. weird font yeah. and they'll like hyphen or they'll, they'll colorize one letter yeah, or one word no like, this is so stupid they, they do it like two times in the whole movie <laughs> Uh, that that doesn't come together for me, but this very much yeah. works. Or like when just the placement of like imagery and stuff, like how uh, Daniel Craig at one point he sits down in a chair, and if you look behind him, all the knives are pointed. Yeah, at it's him. there's I, a lot I, of good. There's a lot of stuff like that that I I enjoy for the most part in movies. Some good symbolism mm -hmm. in it, and yeah. Mm. And my favorite thing, we both got a good kick out of this. They said the title of the movie That's in great. the movie. That's I think great. there's nothing better. I think we just watched the family and I just watched them um, the day after tomorrow. And, they and I the think they tomorrow. say day after tomorrow in there. <laughs> like, Do you notice any of the music in it that played out for you? Or? I mean, there's some of them. It's, I don't know. Some of it almost seems out of place. Like at some points they have like music that should be from the seventies, mm. you know, but I think that's also to like go with the characters themselves because for, uh, I think her name is Joni in it. Sure. Tony. We'll go, we'll, we'll go with yeah, that. Yeah. Um, she has kind of like when they're introducing the characters right away. She has almost like a, I don't know, like a seventies type music. Yeah, she's a little thing, bit like of a said. hippie, yeah, a hippie type vibe, thing, and like yeah. yeah, she gives you that also. I I guess you could say yeah. you and know then, in some movies good right. music when done well you don't even notice no, it. No, and the main theme sounded pretty fun. Yeah, it, the, it's, the knives it's out theme. Expect. Was good. Yeah. How do you expect? Okay, let's wrap this up with uh, you know, should they rush out to see this in theaters? Should they wait to stream it at home? I wouldn't Is say, it worth watching? Where are you at on this thing? I wouldn't say wait to stream it, but I wouldn't say rush. I don't know if there's an in-between yet. I haven't come up with one. You know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at. Though. Like, so, yeah, it's a fun watch. Like, yeah, I mean, go for it. Go see it at the movies, but... You don't, you don't necessarily you don't need to see it opening to. weekend? No. I think this has been out for, what, is this the second week? Or is this... Second. So we're in the middle, I guess, Malcolm. Maybe, uh, you know, you could say it's... If, if you're into this genre, if you like mm -hmm. the, the murder mystery style, you see it in the theaters, you know, show the support for um, uh, new creative films mm -hmm. because they are not around very much anymore. Everything's a sequel, a prequel, a whatever, a sidequel. And uh, it, it's rare when we get these original films. So maybe show the support, go see it at theaters. Otherwise, yeah, for me personally, now that I have seen it, I'd mm -hmm. say I, I wouldn't have done this again. I would have just watched it in the comfort of my own house. So there you go. Those are our thoughts on Knives Out. See it if you want. <laughs> Wait and watch it at home. I think it is worth, worth their time, though. Yeah. No, it's fun. It's a good Saturday night. Thanks for joining us in the car. Subscribe. Or don't. <laughs> or don't. Whatever. <laughs>